Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, January 16, 2020. We are doing the leak down and compression tests on the 1947 Chrysler Crown that's in the 1947 Chris U22. Uh, we'll first do the leak down test and then we'll do a compression test and I'll hand it over to Joe to take us, walk us through this. Yeah, right now what we're trying to do is we want to make sure we can get the cylinder um, that we're trying to get the leak down test on, on at top dead center. So while Anthony is spinning the, the flywheel back there, I got a stick in, and you can see it go up and down between compression stroke and the exhaust stroke. So right now we're almost, we're actually going back to the down stroke, so you're going to want to keep going around. Can I just go back? Yeah. Okay, that's down. Now go up. Just a bit more. Up a little bit more. No, up. Not you really want to be at top dead center so both valves are closed. Yep. Okay, so right now it's right at top dead center. So this bad boy goes in. So once you get the air in there, right now we got to get this needle over here on the cylinder leakage back down to zero to get it started. So by then you just start giving it pressure and you'll start to see that needle move the other direction. It's really important you want to try to get it right at, or right at zero to give you an accurate reading. So once you're there, you will then put air into the cylinder. And right now that's reading right around 95% leakage on this cylinder. So we know that that cylinder, either there are valve bleed by issues, the rings are bad, um, that cylinder is toast basically. Uh, we're, we're not going to take you through doing all six cylinders one at a time. This is the worst one. Anthony, can you hear any? Um, you can hear a little bit, but we might just be a teeny bit off from where it's completely closed off in there. Because I can't hear it from there. So if I... Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. It's really faint, but you can actually hear air coming through the bottom of the oil pane through the oil reservoir. So we've done all six cylinders. This one's the worst, but they were all at least 75%? Is that right? Anywhere from between 75 and 85. Well, now we can we can pivot over and do a compression test. We'll start with cylinder number one. <clears throat> and we, will it stand here? So I rigged up a starter box. Um, it's pretty simple. That way when we get an engine work in order, we have a starting switch, temp gauge, and oil pressure. Right now I just got it set up to the starter so we can see it crank over and see what we can get for compression. So bounces pretty much between 40 and 60. 
on cylinder one. We'd like to be up around 90 and within a couple of PSI of 90 for all six cylinders. Cylinder two. About 50. For the sake of this test, we, we're running fairly light ignition wire, which is uh, causing them to warm up some. That one's between 50 and 70. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that, though. I can move around. About 65. Yeah, it's the best one so far. And if I remember right, this one is going to have fairly low compression on cylinder 5. Uh, it looked like right around 55. That one's right around 65 as well. So, based on those two tests, this engine, at the very least, must be t must be torn down. Of course, our concern. Remember, this is the engine that went through the crash with the rocks. Uh, we don't know what what if if anything uh, is wrong with it. Our next step will be to turn the engine over and Anthony's going to put the stethoscope on and just listen down low on the block. Anthony. See if you hear any odd sounds. What do you hear? I don't hear anything that's <clears throat> out of ordinary. All right. So. Um. Well, Robert Hankel in Marine City, Michigan, Chris Craft Parts, uh, Peter Hankel Incorporated, uh, will be receiving uh, this engine in a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got a crate for it, so we'll load her into the crate and tie her down and coordinate with Robert. Um, and have him tear this engine down and he will give us a report as to what it needs. My guess is it's time for a complete rebuild from top to bottom all the way through. Uh, we'll swap it over to 12 volts at the same time uh, to get better starting performance for her owners and we'll get it out of here as soon as we can but not today. Snowed all night, it's gonna snow all day, it's gonna snow Saturday we're finally getting a winner in Vermont. Uh, wind chills tomorrow morning, minus 24, right here where we stand. So with that, we'll complete our leak down and compression tests on the 1947 Chrysler Crown. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.